Okay, so here we are, and I was kind of going on about Mego, or more specifically the new Mego, and LPH is like, you should film this, that's old Mego. No. Oh. This is new Mego. But I was going on and on a bit, and she was like, well, you should, um, we should probably share this discussion, basically. If you can even get him in focus, I think he has a lot of glare. Oh, yeah, he it. has a lot of glare. Because right now, New Migo is getting to be one of those things that people love to hate. Like uh, Funko and, and NECA kind of falls into that category a lot too. Because of the way that they construct their figures. And they kind of get a bad rap, you know. And the reason for it is that the things that people complain about with the New Migo is things that Mego always did. This, the Mego, the new Mego that you have now, the Mego figures, it's like Mego picked right up from where they left off in the early 80s. Because you remember they were, they were operating in the 70s and the 80s with the 8-inch figure. And the complaints that people have about the new Mego, I, I gotta wonder how justified it really is. And I'm critical of them too, myself. But I think part of the problem is that people are more upset with the politics around New Migo, with some of the people that are really close to New Migo and its operations, and spokesmen for New Migo and their Facebook groups and things like that, which I'm not going to get into right here. You know, rumors and rumors of rumors and all of that. But, um,. The actual figures themselves, they, they're giving you exactly what you always got. People are complaining about, like, the card art. When did you ever get good card art from Mego? What The best example, actually, if you go back over here, this is probably some of the best examples of card art from the original Mego. Now, this, what year did this come out? This is, what, 1975, I think? 1975, 1976, they were doing these. But that's pretty, you know, and that's not bad. And then here's the modern one, and they either use photographs or they use a really, really primitive piece of artwork. I don't have one of those. But this isn't so bad, actually. But people are complaining about the card art, and it's like, this is no better than what you always used to get from Mego quite frankly. Or if you look way up there, you see the Buck Rogers and the Black Hole. All they did, I mean, those are nice looking, but all they did was copy the movie poster. Okay. That's the movie poster. Black Hole, the whole figure set has the exact same card art. They used to do that all the time. There's nothing different now from what they used to give you. Mm -hmm. Likenesses, right? Here's Ahura again. This doesn't look like, like Nichelle Nichols, hardly. People are complaining about the likenesses of the figures, the sculpts. Mego always skimped on sculpts, <laughs> okay? You have to pay extra for a sculpt that actually looks like the character. That's why on the high-end collectible figures, you pay a lot more because of the extra royalties. That's one of the reasons, that's what they tell you. Like, that doesn't really look like Muhammad Ali. You know what I mean? Mm hmm Hardly. Um, joints breaking and clothing that it has cheap dye in it that affects the, the skin on the figures. That's another big complaint. Well, let's take a look by comparison at, at a higher-end figure over here really quick. you got the Mezco wall, okay? card art. Actually, we can probably start with card art. Hmm. I've got in here all my Mezco boxes. Show me a Mezco box with card art on it. That's the most you could possibly hope for. <laughs> you know, they, they don't do it. There's the John Wick. There's nothing on there. They don't give it to you. And this is a, a series. A high, it's considered high-end 12th scale that you're paying... 80 to 100 dollars retail on average for you're not getting card art at all then you come to the figures one of the complaints about the new Mego breaking joints 
they're notorious for breaking joints. The, especially thinner figures like uh, the Doctor Strange or where is she? The Catwoman. Catwoman is another one notorious. I, I, there's probably half of the Catwomans have broken knees. And that's just from somebody posing them and it snaps. Wonder Woman uh, breaking knees and hip joints. It happens all the time. Wrist pegs that are so tiny that when you change the hands out they snap off. Again, $80 to $100 for the figures, and they're breaking off. Likeness complaints. John Wick. People were pissed at the John Wick. They don't think it looks like Keanu Reeves at all. Uh, bleeding color. Take a look at this one. Look at that. You see his arm is blue from the costume. That's pretty common on the high-end figures, too. But you're complaining about it with a figure that you paid 15 bucks for. Mm-hmm at retail it's a cheap figure it's an inexpensive figure they want to compare it to figures toy company figures toy company figures cost three times as much as amigo retail and sometimes they're not as good do you have any figures toy company no i i had some i sold them mm. i don't have any more but you know sometimes they're not that great either you know there are people that are paying big money for high-end action figures that are seeing the same problems and that's a whole nother realm of discussion right there because in my opinion a lot of this stuff is being overpaid for the the 12 scale and the 6 scale I know Hot Toys is all the rage enjoy it while you can you know I, I think that they're overpriced and I think also, like I said, that the, the new Migos is getting a bad rap. There aren't enough accessories. We'll pay more if they add some accessories. Well, you know, maybe they could charge a little more and give you some more accessories with it and maybe hire somebody to do some artwork or whatever. But you're still going to complain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's always going to be somebody who's going to complain about it, you know. But I think Migos becoming one of those uh, one of those new franchises, or it's an old new franchise because they're NU Migo for a reason. Mm -hmm. They're back again. They've been back for a couple of years here. It's one of those groups that people are starting to love to hate, like uh, like Funko, like uh, the NECA. The difference being though is they are kind of learning from their mistakes. One of the big complaints that, and I've been vocal about that myself, I did a video about it some time ago, uh, uh, you know, is the next wave going to make them or break them video I did a while back. What the customers have been saying they want from the new Mego is monster figures and sci-fi related stuff. Forget all the old TV shows, you know, and again, that's something that Mego used to do all the time. They used to make uh, figures for television shows that, and this is back when it was marketed to children. Now they're marketing to us, people in our age category, adults, marketing to kids and making love boat figures and stuff. And people are like, what the hell are you doing, Migo? And that stuff was, was serious shelf warmers back in the 70s and 80s. Or like up here. This is a great example of what I'm talking about. Migo, Laverne, and Shirley. What uh, eight-year-old kid was like, I really want a Lenny and Squiggy action figure. I really want a Laverne and Shirley action figure. Nobody. Nobody in the 70s was, was thinking that. <laughs> See, 1977. Although the card art is cute. Same art on both. But really? Mm -hmm. the, those were major shelf warmers in the day. Mego did that all the time. All right, they listened to their fans and they've gotten away from that. The last couple of waves... You didn't see any TV show character stuff like that. You're getting Star Trek. You're getting uh, monsters. That's what people were asking for. Somebody was listening. Somebody was listening. Maybe they'll listen to some of the other gripes. Maybe not. But, again, for an action figure that's on the lowest price range of action figures that are targeted towards adults right now, how much complaining can you really justifiably do? Is, is my question. I don't know. But, um, again, I think a lot of that anger is more political. It's more 
aimed at people who represent the new Mego that uh, a lot of people have butt heads with and had fallings out with or at some of the groups that have angered people which it's not hard for a Facebook group to piss people off believe me <laughs> this, Facebook's not as great as it's cracked up to be in the first place so I don't know like I said I've been critical of them myself but to a degree I think they're kinda of getting a bad rap so I don't know I mean opinions people that are watching this right now what do you think about that are you are you down with the new Mego? you think that they're getting better you think they're listening to fans do you think that the complaints are justified or not I mean there's a lot of people that like to like to um, open them up and pose with them or kit bash them and do things that have had problems but like I said uh, people that work with the Mezcos have the same problems and those are expensive those are expensive to work with you don't want to pay 80 100 120 150 dollars for a figure and the the day you take it out of the package and you bend his knees to sit him down on something and his hip hip socket cracks and breaks permanently <laughs> and mezco is like tough because that's their attitude you know they they have that little disclaimer slip that comes with it that says it's not a toy if anything happens it's on you hmm. And NECA's got the same attitude. People break NECA's left and right. They, they from what I understand, you have some. Mm -hmm. But um, mine still you, wrapped up. Yeah, you don't open them. But a lot of the people that do open and pose NECA's, nonstop complaints about them just snapping apart. They they look great. There's great sculpts and paint applications, but physically to work with, they're extremely fragile. From what I understand, I don't have any, so I can't say too much. But that's what I hear a lot of. But you know, for a for a figure that you paid about 15 bucks for. And of course, one of the other complaints was in a, in a unavailability. You can't find them. The uh, Amigos? But, yeah, but since they've moved away from Target mm -hmm. and that whole fiasco, they're popping up more and more. So that's kind of been eliminated too, and that's another indication that maybe New Amigos kind of listening to its customer base. And that's the only way they're going to survive. Yeah. So I don't know. Any opinions? about that what do you think about what I had to say you agree you disagree it's all good <laughs> it's all it's all opinion let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below please do give the video a thumbs up if you get where I'm coming from share it if you can subscribe if you knew all that good stuff check out some of the other content you may find something you like and what more can I say but thanks for watching and we will see you again soon